Yeah. Oh my god, you guys look amazing. You do. Hi. Hi. Welcome. I know, dark, it's dark, it's like dramatic. She's uh, she's in a darker place, she's mourning. Um, she cares about the team so much that she feels like she is protecting them by giving, by kind of pushing them away because I think she feels like everything bad happens around her and she can't help but cause problems. And I think her way of taking care of the people she cares about is kind of pushing them away, which doesn't necessarily, is it the best thing? Don't think it's gonna last long term. <laughs> Um, but um, we see a darker, as, as she's really sad. She's really sad. Mm. Oh yeah, I mean, I'm curious to see what she will do because she has struggled with people with powers before and you know has been on a whole journey with Sky going into Daisy and how she feels about Inhumans and you know Ghost Rider definitely poses a huge threat um, and could be very dangerous and so I think that she'd be very cautious and kind of want to get that contained <laughs> so yeah I don't think she's not it's gonna, gonna probably bl I, I want to see because all of our all of the the kind of crazy powers and it's all kind of been rooted in science and yeah. something that Simmons and Fitz and Simmons can always explain why it's happening. Right. So I'm curious to see how the writers are going to write it for your character to explain how he could possibly have his skull be lit on fire yeah, and, then and then be fine. Be fine. So yeah. I'm curious to see where they go with that. Right, yeah. Yeah. Was this for us? Oh, is this for Vodka. Me? Thank you Yay! so much. Thank you. I think it'll be a lot more of that thing, the whole fly, I don't know, it's hopping. Hopping, it's like, like high flop, hop, flopping, flopping. flopping. <laughs> super like badass flopping. Um, um, but the, as I said before, you know, we don't, I'm not being monitored by S.H.I.E.L.D. and every step of the way, you know, through my transformation as an inhuman, it's been monitored by Fitzsimmons and kind of containing and helping me grow my powers. Um, and so, I think you'll see the repercussions of her kind of using these new powers and abusing them in a way, and a kind of abusing her body. And so it's physically, she's in, in not great shape when we first see her in, in the first episode. She's not going to be doing well, because she's not with Simmons. No. We didn't get to see Simmons in the teaser at the end of the finale, but um, could you tell us a little bit about where she's at, where we would pick up episode one's later part? <laughs> I think I can. I don't think I can. Um, I mean, the teaser at the end, we saw Radcliffe, you know, potentially talking to a life model decoy. Um, so that's something that, she, you know, she would be very interested in, and it's kind of in hers and Fitz's realm. Um, and so that's, that's going to play a part in this season for her. Yeah. Well played. Didn't say <laughs> <anything>. <laughs> Honestly, I'd just like them to be happy and fine for a bit, uh, but we'll see. I mean, this is the first time they've been in a relationship romantically and they've been on holiday together and with everything that's happened, you know, in the finale of the episode, they finally got together and then just everything went down. They lost friends and, you know, they Hive died, but also Ward finally died and we lost him for the last time and any chance of redemption you know was gone and so I think that was just so much for them to deal with that now they're just trying to concentrate on being a romantic couple and 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 also trying to navigate those waters because if you've ever been in a relationship you know that it's not it's not easy and Especially you don't always work. agree at work like, they, you, yeah. like we live at very work very close yeah, yeah. So well, it's a kind of a fun dynamic we're going to get to see. I would like, really like you know, to have seen that <laughs> Babies would be uh, fine. They'd be the cutest. Ian. Fitz would be such a good dad, right? Yeah, I he think would. So. I think Ian would. I, Fitz would be too. Yeah. He would be really cute. I don't know. Really 
relationship because I mean Marissa and Judd have the best relationship yeah. ever. So I think that like a lot. I mean, I think their friendship. Yeah, is Yeah, you see a lot of their personalities in them for sure, yeah. and their little isms and kind of how they play off each other. I think they definitely put that in the writing for Fitzsimmons. Um, they're a lot more solid than Fitzsimmons <laughs> in terms of like knowing what they want. Um, but definitely the bond is is the same and I mean I think we all get so much inspiration from Marissa and Jed on a very personal level and then on a professional level they're just wonderful and so creative and like financially minded to be able to run a show but then so oh, yeah. personable and you know care about all of us and are, are, are just the best the There's, best people to work for they really are and, and their writing is so easy you yeah. know it's, it's I can always tell when something was written by them in particular, yeah, because you go, you, they, they just know our dialogue so much, and it's, and it's you learn it like that. yeah, their personalities are really in there, and they know, you know, we've really grown together as a family on the show, and like at the panel, we saw our audition tapes, and it's so crazy to see how yeah. far all of our characters have come, and how far away my long hair has gone <laughs> from oh. my head. <laughs> love this haircut, love, love it, love it, thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.